ฟาเดอร์ดอโนมินีวาเฮจเบนูมินีติงเลกิวินีเซคชั่นลังอาจิติงเลชุนดอโนมินีโฮอีดอดิวฮินติงซุเลเจ็ดบ็อกซ์อ
to let le kabu uh, articles eighty swam bagi publish him well done it to manipur nagaland mizoram uh, assam sikkim tripura tiwa achu hechi ho kam sungsi a hi newspaper as hoi ta ta ho chunga hi chunga hin chule le khabu he the dinga chu vanoi nu meri kiti he a e pa win publish an ki bolin a masut abana the groaning for peace moral signs a hin abana chule the joy of being myself he chule khabu ma ma hin chule the relevance of him who in pastoral ministry he chit to a iman cha thei ta in you it's all she say in to lay a mahi father pull in PhD to a hit PhD ball light in to sociology and social work of crisis department department of sociology and social work crisis Bengaluru Kalataka India deemed to be university on a he a ball in a ma interest to a ma lung luna area or two Amat kip na area iti leo kan pasong tin hitje ho tu le education lang ethnography ethno history hello le ecology deep ecology environmental anthropology hitje o area si si he amat interest area hin tu a he amat pastor father Paul lilin ho kip hari video hitan hitje video he ahin ngai eh ho se se hello Amabana, YouTube, ahin channel dang dang ahin ngai di ho zo sin zong ipat song pi de di kaging san di jito long sun patin um pi na zang pung min father pool ama adi na bang ta apa la dingin kakobe. Thank you, Steve, for the introduction. Ah, iso piu e ho pa hello mi pasapi zao zi zong. English bawin boleh hidupin. Muncul cuma zat cuma cuma nak zat nom asai nom ayo le. Mohon ngai nom jiwun. Am ho mai tu nanjung. Ijun boleh jing. Jeng kak kering le. Ayi bawin hong jauh nanti. French today will be speaking mostly on with in in English because the various communities are joining this webinar. And in some at some occasions maybe I will use few. Tado Kuki language, uh, please forgive us uh, for that. Uh, Steve, is my first slide uh, visible? Yes, Yulin. Yeah, okay. As we see in the first slide, the first slide is actually a, a, a depiction of uh, the introduction that we will be having on the uh, side we have the picture of a woman uh, having another face at the back side what we want to say in this picture is that human beings are very complicated and on the left side we have the self which uh, which is depicted with a layer of uh, uh, with three layers that also depicts how human self is uh, so complicated Sometimes we have first self, sometimes another we have second self and a third self, fourth self, etc. There are people who have many selves or many images or faces at different points of time. As we know, uh, human beings as we are, we need to program ourselves or we need to program oneself because the human mind is so complicated. It is filled with about 80 to 100 billion neurons in the brain, those are connected with about 1,000 trillion synapses. And this is a very complicated machine that we have. Therefore, we need to program this machine. If we don't program properly, we will be not in a position to direct our lives. That's why the, I have put the title of our discussion tonight will be Programming Oneself. Is my slide moving? Steve? Steve, is my slide moving? Yes, I can see and the, the arrow. Yeah, it is, it's moving, right? 
Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, friends, uh, today I would not like to be a person who gives you all the solution, uh, solutions of life, but rather I would just like to be a, a signboard. I would serve as a signboard for you to walk or to travel the way of life or the journey of life. Some of us will travel a rugged uh, journey. Some of us will be traveling through a very smooth uh, journey or smooth road. But whatever it is, each of us need to take that step. I can't uh, be uh, company with you till the end of it. You can't be with me at the, at, till the end of it. So we need to take that step. Uh, programming oneself is the awareness that today is very, very important. Today, the word today is uh, also can be called as now. Or oh, now, present, here. These are the words we can use. So programming our mind, programming our life, programming our future or programming our present actually means this. Yesterday is the past and that's gone forever. And tomorrow is an uncertain future. We are not sure of tomorrow. Nobody's sure of tomorrow. But we are just preparing for tomorrow. So the wisdom that we need to learn today is that today is the beginning of tomorrow and the end of yesterday. I would like to repeat this word, this sentence. Today is the beginning of tomorrow and the end of yesterday. This awareness has to come deep down within us. Then only we can really go forward in life. The Indian philosophy you know, speaks uh, very much about I, I or the self. Uh, 2000 years BC, 2000 years BC before uh, uh, Christianity came into being, the Indian philosophy was already talking about, already investigating, already uh, concentrating the, all their mind, energy, and expertise on searching about I or the self, the human self. Later on, of course, the Greeks uh, uh, picked up. So in the, in the Indian philosophy, the search is for the inner world inner world. Human beings have got two worlds. The one is the inner world, one, one is the external world, the exterior world. But Indian philosophy actually looks at the inner world. And that is what I'm interested with. And that's why I um, uh, titled the program as Programming Oneself. Programming Oneself. In Greece, uh, during uh, 400 to 500 uh, BC, Socrates was uh, quite popular, and his uh, wonderful and popular phrase was, or is today, we can say, know thyself. We don't know whether he has picked up from the Indian, uh, Indian philosophy, but similar to that, he also was in telling his friends and his uh, audience to know themselves to know themselves. Now, uh, most of the time, we define ourselves, not who really we are or who we are in its essence, but we define ourselves differently. Example, if I ask you, who are you? Somebody says, I am a pastor or I am a uh, professor. Actually, you are defining yourself with your employment. Or you say, I'm the wife of so-and-so. I'm the husband of so-and-so. You're just defining yourself with relationships. Suppose you say, I'm the owner of this place. I'm the king of this place. I'm the chief of this uh, village. You're just defining yourself with your possession. So like that, we are defining ourselves with our dreams, actions, what we do, what we think, and what we say. It is very difficult to understand who we really are or who I am. That's the question we, we need to ask. This, the, this question, who am I, is actually an ongoing process uh, that we need to undertake. Programming comes from uh, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. We know that we human beings are controlled by the mind and the mind is divided into two again. 
One is the conscious mind that is just 10%. The subconscious mind constitutes 90%. So whatever we say in the conscious mind, example, I tell myself today, I will go to sleep around 11 o'clock and get up at 5.30. I am sending a message to the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind will pick up that message. And at exactly at 5.30 a.m., the subconscious mind will initiate a kind of awake, awakening in my body. So my body will get awakened. So whatever we feed in the conscious mind goes to the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind believes whatever the conscious mind feeds. We will go a little deeper in the next slide. So human being is actually <clears throat> the mind, the thought. About 60,000 thoughts pass through our mind every day. Every day, about 60,000 thoughts in a normal human being. A normal human being has got about 60,000 thoughts going on in, in the brain. So whatever attention that you give to those 60,000 thoughts, if you give attention to one or two, you will become that. Example, I'll just give. I wish to play football. So I picked up that word, that conscious thought. I wish to play football. So the whole day, <clears throat> the main <clears throat> focus would be on football. Out of 60,000, one thought, I'm going to play football, that will ring and I will play the football. Yeah. So we have to pay attention to those thoughts. <clears throat> Let us question ourselves or you can question yourselves. Number one is, why do I generously allow others to program my life? Second, why am I so much affected by others' negative talks about me if I'm not in the wrong spot? Thirdly, why do I believe the words of people or words spoken by others as so genuine? and my conscience as not so true. So these are the moments <clears throat> that people are programming us. These are the moments that people are programming us every day, consciously or unconsciously, whether we are aware or not aware. So these, these are very important questions, pertinent questions we need to ask ourselves so that we begin the personal programming by ourselves. Chad Hempstetter, who has written the book, What to Say When You Talk to Yourself, says like this, do you want to live with a bad program? Do you want to go through the rest of your life literally at the mercy of a program you don't want? He says, you don't have to. You can override almost any conditioning you have ever received in any part of your life. Yes we will not be able to reprogram 100% but most of the things we can reprogram ourselves. Therefore, to program yourself, you need very, very important three principles or three points that you need in your life. I, in short form, it is called the VMV. The VMV is the vision, mission and values. Every organization, every institute have this vision, mission, value system in perspective. Friends, we are human beings and every human being is a complicated machine. The most complicated machine on the earth is a human being. So we need to program this human being and we can program this human being using these three tools. Number one, vision. What is a vision? A vision is a specific goal set to be achieved within a particular period. Maybe within five years, maybe within 10 years. Particular period of time, I plan out a thing that is called a vision. What is a mission? A mission is the day-to-day -day work that I do 
in order to achieve that particular vision is called mission. Let us take the example of uh, the vision to build a house. In order to build a house, daily you need to either level your ground or you buy daily you need to buy small, small things so that you, you'll have enough material for building that house. Or you need to, once you start building, you need to build slowly, pour water, curate it. So small, small things that you do in order to achieve your vision, that is called mission. Number three is the values. Values are like helpers and principles that we, we need to have in order to achieve that vision. Let us take example of the value like hard work is a value. Perseverance is a value. Truthfulness is a value. So in order to achieve the vision of building a house, will you cheat people or will you be truthful enough? Will you persevere? Will you do work enough in order to achieve that? Those, these are the values that we need in order to achieve our vision. Friends, without, your, without this VMV, no person can achieve anything in life. We need to have our own vision, mission, and values so that our life is at least uh, attuned towards a particular goal. Steps to programming oneself. Number one is unlearning faulty programming. There are many faulty programmings that we have received in our lives, maybe from the society, maybe, maybe from the tribe, maybe from the family, maybe from the school maybe from uh, many other places in the past and in the present. Let us take one example. One example of faulty uh, programming that we have is we are tribals or we are from the Northeast. So it's difficult for us to compete with anybody. This is a faulty programming. Who tell them? This is somebody is telling us, either parents, leaders, somebody is telling us. And we think that is true, that is true, that is true, that is true. No, it's not true. We need to unlearn that. We need to forget that, or we need to scrap that, delete that. Number two is learning to program oneself. When I say, I just listed here three, just three important points, creative notebook, diary keeping, and to-do list. Let's talk about creative notebook. Some people have creative notebooks. They, they write down whatever thought comes to mind to their mind. Either it is arts or science or uh, humanities or whatever it is. They write down or they draw all these things. Creative notebook. Do not trust your mind or your brain or your memory. It goes, comes and goes. So always have a creative notebook to program yourself. Another one is diary. Some people keep diary. They write their good times, bad times, uh, horrible times, sad times, etc. Number three is like a to-do list. i just show you one list. This is my list. Yesterday, I had six things to be done today, but I have ticked only four. Still two are to be completed. This is a just to-do list. Every day I change my list so that I'm able to do the work. I just remember and before sleeping, I just write down what I will be doing tomorrow. I just write down and that day, one, as soon as it is over, I tick it. That's the way I program myself. Number three, judicious use of time. Time is given to everybody. Somebody, some people use it for gossip, talking, talking, and talking. They dream. Some people use it for intellectual pursuits or social, religious endeavors. And number four is time is very precious. Time is life and life is time. Friends, the time that we use today or the investment that we make in time at this point of time will either take us to success or lead us to failure. It is in our hands. Nobody can take time from you. They can take away your clothes. They can take away your possessions. But the time, nobody can snatch this time from you. This is your property. This is your right. So you can plan this time. You can plan what to do. And it is your, it is your priority and your duty as well. Where will you be or where will I be after five years or seven years? To be a graduate, to be a graduate or to be married or in a postgraduate or in services or 
pursuing PhD or um, entrepreneurship, etc. This is what we need to plan our life. Just studying because everybody studies is not enough. Just reading because everyone is reading is not enough. Just playing because everybody is playing is not enough. I need to program my life. I need to program my future and my present. So you can program what you are at birth. Maybe you belong to a particular tribe, a particular uh, state, a particular color, skin color, or a particular language. That's not your fault. The way you're born is not your fault. But where you are right now, today, and what you will be in the future are all in your hands. Are all in your hands. Your behavior now will lead you to where you will be. The books that you read, the friends that you meet, the groups that you join, the societies that you en enroll, the films that you see, the magazines that you read, all these things will build you, program you, program you. So let us be very careful what we do and when we do, because now is going to affect tomorrow. Feeding the mind, rule your mind or it will rule you. Friends, the mind is a good servant, but the mind is also a bad master. Unless you rule your mind, it will rule you. So you become what you feed to your mind. Just like you eat good food, you grow healthy. So also if you feed good, uh, good things to your mind, your mind grows healthy and you become what you feed. Let's see who questions or who controls us. Is the past controlling you? Is the present controlling you? Is the future controlling you? Are teachers controlling you? Parents, friends, thoughts, video games, others, etc. What is controlling you or who is controlling you? We need to find those things. When you go back home today, find out what actually is controlling your life and see whether those controls are affecting and negatively affecting your life. If they're ne negatively affecting and programming and controlling your life, it's time to delete them, scrap them, throw them out because you need to live your life. Don't allow the past, present, future, teachers, parents, friends, thoughts, and video games, etc., to control you. Uh, you have to control yourself. You have to program your life. When is the right time to program oneself? I would say the earlier you program yourself, the better you realize yourself. The best time is now, today, at present. Stages of programming oneself. Childhood programming. Friends, in, this is very, very important. A child within one to seven years, whatever you tell in within one to seven years, he or she believes everything, takes in everything, and actually most of the programming actually already happened that time. Now, what is childhood programming? Sometimes we are programmed wrongly as a child. Maybe because of the society, maybe because of the community we belong to or the place where we come from, etc. Those faulty childhood programmings need to be scrapped, need to be taken out, deleted. Example one, don't speak to that particular tribe or don't go to that particular place. It is dangerous. These are, it is deep down in our mind and it is already in the subconscious mind. And once it is in the subconscious mind, it will always ring back to you. These are faulty programmings that we receive, childhood programming. If you are already in 20s, it's the right time to program yourself. If you're already in 30s, it's a bit late. But if you're in 40s, it's a bit late, but it's better to be late than never. Secondly, brain feed. Whatever was fed in our brain, whatever they told us in our told us it was it was registered. Everything is registered in our brain, and we reproduce that one all the time. We reproduce. Now today, consciously, we need to feed what is to be in the brain. We need to give proper food to the brain. This is very important. Consciously, we need to do that. Fixing your brokenness. Friends, it is very, very shameful also sometimes to share our brokenness or our failures to others. But life is filled with brokenness. There is no human being on earth who has not been broken, either physically, intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, 
or whatever it is. There is brokenness everywhere, but we need to acknowledge that brokenness. In China, in China, where the clay, of, uh, the clay pot is broken, as you see in the picture, they join back the broken clay and they put the paste and they paint with golden colors. And that golden color, colors become the design for that. So let our brokenness become a design in our life. That, 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 uh, let people see that we as human beings, we have been broken, but we have joined ourselves together and we are moving forward. Neo programming. Every time we buy a phone, all of us, about have, a, all of us have phone or a laptop or something like that. We always want to upgrade our phones, put new apps, etc. In the same way, life also needs something new. We need to upgrade our life, upgrade our thinking, upgrade our spirituality, upgrade our social behavior, upgrade our intellectual pursuits, upgrade our dress, upgrade our broaden our mindsets, new programming, new programming. That's what we need. And number four, fifth, that is, and learning is learning. We may say learning is all, not just accumulating something new all the time, but learning is also if something we have learned wrongly, we need to correct that or divide that, scrap away, throw away the wrong part and take only the good. So unlearning is also learning. I would like to the, talk a little bit on uh, Japanese wisdom. Just two uh, points. When I saw the um, life expectancy of the world, Hong Kong and Japan have the highest. They have about, uh, one has got about 85.29 and one has got, I think, 85.05. So uh, Hong Kong and Japan have got the highest life expectancy on the earth. So what, do, what they say in Japan is, one who chases two hairs won't even catch one. Which means to say, one who has divided mind will not be able to concentrate and reach one. So we need to program our mindset. We need to program our life. Uh, the next I would like to talk is about Ikigai. Ikigai means, uh, it's a Japanese philosophy. Iki means to live and gai means reason. The reason to live or the purpose to live in life. That's why they're living so long. They're living so long. Why? Because they have a purpose to live. They have a reason to live. Human beings, when we don't have a reason to live, we can get into depression. We can go to drug abuse or sometimes it may lead to suicide, which is a very, very mental, a dangerous mental health condition. We have been, I don't know, taught or we have easily adapted to the Western style of uh, defining success. In the Western style, success means having more uh, or winning something or defeating somebody. That's called success. That's okay. called, but, but the concept of uh, uh, this uh, ikigai in, uh, in the Japanese wisdom is that we have to shift our mindset and accept that we are human beings. And since we are human beings, all the time, we need not be at the top of the world. We need not be successful all the time. We need not be winning all the games. We will not be the best in all the competitions, but that's fine. That's all right. This kind of life is called, this kind of philosophy is called Ikigai. It has got five important uh, nets or principles. Number one is starting small. Anything that we do, start small. Do not imitate or do not try to emulate or do not, do not try to, to look up to very, very big people. Example, uh, whenever uh, our children are in the school, we ask them to become IS, IPS, sorry. Everybody's not going to become IS, IPS. Or we, directly we imitate and we look at the big sorts like Shah Rukh Khan or Amitabh Bachchan. Don't they have gone, they have undergone 50 years of difficulties. How can you just emulate? How can you just beat them? No, not possible. Let us start small. Let us look at the heroes of our village first. Heroes of our area second. Heroes of our uh, uh, that the district. Heroes of our state. 
than heroes of our region like that. We should start small. Let us not have too big ambition. That's not going to be possible. Number two is Ikigai. The second principle is releasing yourself, which means do not be stuffed up too much. Sometimes have, have time for yourself. Go relax, meet people, just chill out, go for a walk, go for have a coffee like that. So release yourself, be relaxed. Number three is harmony and sustainability. Harmony within myself, harmony with my neighbor, and harmony with environment. When these three are in harmony, there is sustainability. If any of them are disturbed, and if any of them is disturbed, the sustainability is questionable. Four, the joy of little things. Friends, most of the happy things in life don't come from the sky. It does not fall from the sky, does not come from the meteors, does not come from very, very big things. The small things in life bring joy. Example, a smile, saying, I'm sorry, thank you, please, excuse. These kind of small words, small things, small goodness, these are the things that bring joy in our lives. Number five, being here and now. In the second slide, we talk about the programming, the realization of programming ourselves is to realize that we are right now here and now, and that is very important. This is the picture of uh, people who were uh, in the concentration camp. Uh, this logotherapy is very similar to uh, Ikigai philosophy. This was developed by Victor, Victor Frankl a psychiatrist and neurologist. Uh, he, according to his uh, uh, principle or his uh, theory, logotherapy is the pursuit of that meaning for one's life. That means searching for a meaning in one's life. A person who doesn't have a meaning or a purpose in life will easily give up. This is a picture of uh, people who are in a concentration camp during the, uh, during the Nazi time. And Viktor Frankl was also in the concentration camp. He says, people who had meaning or purpose in this concentration camp, many of them survived, he said. Many of them survived the torture. But those who gave up, they died. And he also said, I, he himself was having a purpose in life. That was, there was a book which was captured by the Nazi and that it was destroyed. So he said, I wanted I wanted to rewrite those books or the, those manuscripts so that that book is still alive, still available for people. That thought made me and kept me alive, he says. So this is a personal sharing that he has made to the world. And as soon as the World War II was over, <clears throat> he came up with the book, Man's Search for Many. And ultimately, if you go back home and sit down, talk to yourself and reflect, you will be just coming with this last line. What is the meaning of my life? Whatever you do is actually trying to add meaning to your life. I would not be able to end or I would be wrong to end this session without talking something about environment. <laughs> Friends, we all know that a normal human being consumes about 550 liters of pure oxygen per day. Per day. Now, if you and I have not planted trees and uh, bamboos, we are actually borrowing oxygen from somebody's goodness, either nature's goodness or some people have planted those uh, uh, trees. And it is possible, it is possible to program our environment as well. We can go to, we can take to, or we can switch to silviculture that is growing or, uh, uh, or choosing the type of trees, plants in the place and maintaining the quality of the forest, which is, uh, uh, which is needed for our lives. This, we can do it. This silviculture, we can do it. Silviculture comes from the Latin word silvi means wood and culture means growing, wood growing or wood, uh, wood culture. So we can program our lives, why not? Instead of having uh, uh, balloons and cakes and uh, crackers and many other things, why don't we plant a tree on birthdays? Why don't we plant a tree on anniversaries? Some would say, I don't have a place. Cool. Fine, if you don't have a place, buy a, a tree and give to some people who have a place to plant. Still, you do it. Or if you want to be still environmentally friendly, you can use the, uh, the search engine. Many of you are using uh, 
laptops and uh, this one, uh, mobiles. There are so many search engines like Google, Bing, Baidu, DuckDuckGo, Ask.com, etc. Among them, there is one called Ecosia. Ecosia is a search engine. If you install that, whatever advertisement revenue they get in Ecosia, that goes for tree plantation. So this is also, you may not be able to plant a tree, but you can, through your, uh, through your use of Ecosia, some revenue will go there and that revenue will be used for tree plantation. It's possible to program your environment. It is possible to program your lungs. Unless your lungs are all right, you will not be alive. And unless you are not alive, unless you are alive, you will not be able to hear these words. So friends, I would like to say that programming oneself is possible and the ball is in your court. The time begins now. I just would like to say these are the three books, like one is the, the Power of, the, of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. If you have time, please read it. Another one is Ikigai, and another international bestseller. And the right side, that is our latest book, Program Yourself. These are available. These two books will be available free of cost in www.pdfdrive.com or Z Library. Thank you so much, uh, Kangong Lam Hill, for this beautiful privilege. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Father Paul. It's such an honor and privilege to hear from you. I hope many of us will note it down or we can go back to YouTube videos and uh, write it down in detail. Um, personally, uh, program which means the way I program myself when I look back to the system Father Paul taught me how, how do I spend my time do I achieve what I set in the morning during prayers or how do I spend my time uh, when I reflect uh, the way Father Paul listed uh, all, all those things I think I have to prepare from this evening, this night itself, and start programming myself uh, so that I will be spending less time in this, <laughs> maybe in internet, uh, mobiles or laptops or whatever, uh, programming me. <laughs> Look, uh, who over-programmed me? I should, pro I should be the one who programmed myself. Uh, most of the times, this mobile internet are programming us, <laughs> this generation. 90, we can say most of our time, 90% is programmed by internet instead of programming ourselves. So I'm, uh, therefore I further give uh, the audience to, if you have uh, questions or uh, any comments or some positives and then whatever you like, uh, please do ask and mute, mute, unmute your, uh, please go on. เอ่อโดนนุ่มในยุบบาเฮลวาเลยพี่ฮัมอ่าฟาเดอร์โบลินอีจีอ่าอิงเอปาไวต์โอวาเลยเอปาไวน์อินอินโดนบุดดิวอ
Uh, well, I think Father, Reverend Father Paul Lillian has added third and fourth dimension of spirituality. I can see a host of reverends and pastors and priests, sisters. So, uh, till now, especially in the Catholic mission, we have been focusing on spiritual health and economic health without uh, hungry men is an angry man. Uh, hungry men has no philosophy. So Catholic have been focusing on education so that people get jobs and placement and establish themselves. Now, besides spiritual health, Father Paul has added the mental health, the psychological health. This is very uh, important. Uh, this all, I think all these lectures were based on the uh, attaining a healthy mindset, healthy mind. Okay, that is the third dimension. And the fourth dimension is ecology. I think from uh, today, after listen, listening to this lecture, all the, I would exhort all the uh, reverends and <clears throat> missionaries to include environmental sin as a sin. Not only drugs or not only stealing or murder as a sin, but both commission and omission, committing uh, deforestation as a sin, as well as not uh, speaking against or not doing anything. That omission, two, two aspects of uh, environment that also should be uh, in our teachings on our daily sermons, so that uh, because people people most uh, pay most attention to our uh, pastors and reverends because um, uh, we listen to politicians, we listen to academicians, but people may uh, pay most uh, respect and attention to the words of the uh, uh, religious. So I think it's a big challenge for all of us. And Father Paul has rightly taken that step. Uh, congrats, Paul Lillian. Uh, that's all my observation. Thank you. I have no answers for uh, even if other questions come, but I, I told, as I told you in the beginning, I if I serve as like a signboard, I'm happy with that. <laughs> uh, Father George, on oh, the, I, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't be able to uh, on my video. Okay. Yes, Father. Uh, thank you for the you know uh, the words that you uh, you pour out. Unto us, and then it was really relevant. And then, personally, I'm very benefited from your speech. Thank you. And uh, you know, the thoughts that come into my mind after listening your speech was, uh, I'm not differentiating the Catholic and the other churches or the so-called Protestant churches, but uh, when we see the Catholic Church, they program themselves in the way that they are academically where furnace, whether the lay people or the priests. But when it comes to the other churches like Protestant churches, uh, academically we are not sound enough and the church are not taking enough initiation uh, for the lay people in order to come up with their academic uh, or in order to come up with their educations. So what could be your thoughts uh, or what could be your advice in order to uh, for the other churches to come up in the field of education. Uh, if you can highlight some of the helping tips, that would be really beneficial. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, for the Catholic Church, uh, when we talk about evangelization, it is not just spreading the word of God, but evangelization is also uh, educating people. And as Professor uh, James Hockey has put it, the uh, health part, like dispensaries, hospitals, because if a person is not healthy and if a person is not intellectually sound or intellectually healthy, however we preach to them, it will not work. It will not work properly. When a person is intellectually sound and bodily, uh, physically healthy, the person will be able to decide for himself and herself in a later stage of life. So maybe we need to, as in St. John chapter 10, verse 10 says, I came that they may have life and life in its fullness. Life in its fullness, according to the church, according to the Catholic church, means 
life in its fullness means spiritual life and physical life also, mental life or psychological life that we call it. All these areas of life should be going hand in hand. We cannot just focus only on mental or only spiritual or only uh, uh, physical, but they all should go hand in hand in parallel so that we have life in its fullness. Thank you. Gupal, uh, can you see uh, the chat box? Will I read out or? Yeah, please. Uh, I, I, please read well, well, which one you want. Please read. Yeah. If uh, from Bumin uh, Vaipay, if one is addicted to something, how one can program his or her mind to come out of that? Can you suggest some share as can you suggest and share some tips? Yeah. First of all, I'm not a I'm not a professional uh, psychologist or thing. Maybe uh, if a person is uh, addicted to something, he or she needs a prof professional help. I'm not the professional uh, person to help. But if that person should go to professional people like those who have professional mental health or professional psycho psychiatrists or psychologists or doctors and get their help, that's very important. Yeah. Any other comments, please uh, feel, free, feel free to uh, speak it out in uh, comment chat box or uh, verbally uh, in this video. English uh, is a uh, comfortable um, 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 uh, um, baby. You can feel free to ask him. Yeah, I power the daughter. I power daughter. He pull him here. No, if I tell that, ah, I'm just so English I can't follow, na. Ah, father, I can guy. Just to tell him, I power na him. He'll take bed. He da ham. Yeah, it's true, la. Iki, iki, so to live, yeah, na. Guy to the reason I Kahin Lord Pipinam Dinach. If you are Hinka him, if you are Hink Kahin Lord Piham. As the Neho, the Nature Hon Neho to the Katanu Katapazia Hinka he, the Kahin Lord Pipinama, he can and more long length, Katanu Katapas Kulakai Pula Kahin Lo, he did so. Stabamato Ehon, he no Karum Nay Nigel. He no Omlo while soon to I say Bangatu. Depression, lung lop mo na, ayo le, ay malay mga lung niyaw na, small self self defeatism dito ham, lung niyaw na kina ite aban le, atay na to drug abuse, aban le, ko kita to le, yoh langa to asong to chan po langa suicide tendencies na matami to, kito no more meaning in life, meaning kahin lom no dahil kahin lom tapoy. Kitiyong lemas ako at po itilung tim akin na ijaso hitan tuki ka hito. Hitan ka iba sa nga so hitit sa pang nung hitit sa pang pa so sa ho sa pang session ang zaong ka ala hitay tutas umlo may tayo siya. Ay jaso hitit sa pang session pitay hitit sa pang asaw na tayo jaso eh ho ho lang ka ho ay in sa civil society organization ang kwan pa so agot pa ingay siya. Hitan sa pang ho so we are the caretakers of the children. Sa pang ho beto bring yung ho yung siya so Sapong ho hindering patdering ay ju chilam pibju patin patin jingkan yun ha patin patin hallelujah tayo praise the Lord tayo mayju patin hilo ju ay hindering chilam pib alung timu ata asawal hagaw ng psychology at chinering chilam pib ju ikomu kasiwa ju iho holam kaya ho inatog ju hingnay lo ju 
So we need to guide the children in every field. Now, field of Sahi, Sapong Hoyo, Lung Neo, a Lung Tim Pisu, Loyole, Mikim Lung Neo, Omitan, Amho, Hina Telling Azu. Purpose in life, Iki Gai, Kitichu, Banan, Logo Therapy, Kitam, Kibong, Kibong, Vivi, Kibong, Tim Timichu. Kipame. <coughs> for the addiction, one can approach professional and clinical psychologists. Mm. The, the addiction, <coughs> one can approach professional clinical psycho, psycho, psychologists. It's like, I didn't say bad, I'm father. Hey, 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 yeah, most of us, in one way or the other, we are all addicted to something. Nah, eho hin am nanti social media iman ho bang. Atam zo hi ibet na hi partner WhatsApp group ma patut sa hum exit ho bang ku ibet na hi le. Kimbun imita ball man bet ano ba? Ebham atil social media part atam zo aman. And then that affects uh, his daily schedule. Nah, to then he lie he le leha asim a concent table a thousand le leha concentrate man be se lo mai thei mi pa he zong le mi pa kat he na in sung nga amo apu na tampi ala ading dol ala lo na um mai thei nah ahin eho hin addiction iti tengu le paham. A kiki gel palo, me dunk you set on a hidden like a gel gel jinky the bank. I mean, so the bank he a paham a epiti omnan ebolding lom cut ball paloa. It is social media ham cut in a time fully occupied hung he tingle. Parts are in ball tingle. He did to one form of addiction, catinomin. A less short the bank to how can we. Uh, examine or I mean, a le a ipiti kahi ding dol bang kat kahi tapoi ti ike head do ting le na ipiti in mind program kit programming iti kit hasi ma it's a hot to dal ha ah am dan ju uh to be more responsible and successful in life the hot to hong hi te ne ding pen so na. It's a long time to get a pop mind program ball ding dong to get tips. The big bear take them. I'm saying, uh, the mind program is it uh, it's very practical now. So I just showed you this. Uh, this is a uh, this is something very practical. It's not uh, in the air now. It's practical as well. So, uh, like, Pazo, Sapang, no, so I do Sapang Pazo, it's a mahina to get that. So, example. Kehi phone he nikad le unga kapetai tia kihet do dasa. A kihet do number one that's very good. Then the person is accept. The person ma ma sun kehi mahi unga phone kapetan adi the boy kehi adi lo kehi tai tia a kihet ngan number one kihet ni accept abo ngai chus. Adi na lai ti lebang ge can move we can move. Secondly, he charge a hit ai le. Kalau kita simpan dengan hit rutin, kalau rutin pergi semi, kerja itu ada boleh dia orang yang mana hit tak kira ding, ada another paper he should take. Nikat le pung pungsa lapan sa pungsa tu kahit pun nak kerja cepat, kalau le pungsa mengam dia orang pun nak kerja tu orang priority prioritize first priority, mana one two three four five. So pula he can take the next 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 slip again, which which is the real among the five, which is the top most. Mengala tu hit pen hit pen, nama hit pen abol ni ham tu. Again, prioritize now. Till he, till I mean, till I mean, till I'm giving no notation. 
very truly macam git num telo cha chu thili igit lawai le ki hello chu igit ai le imit nung abet a ikot nung za abet a akot ikot nung a thama ilung chimo ki jono three senses are working at the same time na igit lawai le only lung ning gel cho mit mutalo khot nung hetalo so igit do apa le kun ilung thimung ki chem le small senses are involved senses involved ni pa le chu hi ti last program cha chu yo study a ko pr ki ti participatory rural appraisal ki ti aung ko solution to amwa hung pan hung ko nai chu in psychiatry or in counseling or whatever right so bona is solution hi chapang pa chapang no le mi pa mi no bol hang pa on nga nu apan hung ko nai chu we can help yo chu i ki to pi thai chu ready made solution a people like thailo pi chu nobody will take that ready made solution a solution has to come from within and expert people can help here and there you can get it why every time you have to study i have to go to this is the mother paul hoy hoy you got your society hai na the mental sickness or the addiction ti denga so officer tampi ne ho jo ki bilang sanga ikat addiction to the alcohol addiction ham ka dipem ka jai ikat chawai tamato ji o it ama mi ke sa ase ji a he lo la mi pa hi i oi mo jo na it ji approach pa hi ka tidan je ho hi society wa hi mental mental illness langa hi approach the ham ka tidan jo koi ma jai in psychiatric help lo le adang dang hi ko sa lo pi jo mi ka tu ju an do na lo ka ni em ka ni aung ki ngol sa le we 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 tend to go for victim blaming na ki hi society wa it ki thua lungel pa mindset pa khel them instead of becoming a society who's ready to help we always tend to be victim blaming na ati a hi society wa officer ho ang ngol lo pi jo le ka thiam ta ta wa nga ke kei ma on the research ta kamu khadi mental illness alo la genetically hoi predispose hi vekati to ke na predispose ang yum na predispose ang uma ala chiju pathin het le het lo pa ang hi pathin het ta ta ang zu ngol ve ti to zu ngol ve ti ho hi psychiatric help lang hi very tiju e hoi stigma ai al na lai ba na mr chalchil bong ang zu mental illness nei to ji da bang ai approach by shell with society wa hi judon jong hi very common hi a nat 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 na pa hi addiction pa nat nai mu the the ngule a victim blaming pa et so as a society et ikhel the di wa e to society society ka blame jo in my research na society wa suicide wa yong hi iki het mo so jo there's a huge number of suicide cases in jorachanpur sadar hills uma cho delhi langa gohati a hi suicide hi ampi am nam cho around around k kws secretary ke lai cho i think around seven people committed suicide ele cha cho program khat kan bola hop ki khat kan bola athi lu se tu chan ge umlo bi cho chi chu hi ala chun ke ma on kamu do khana cho hi ti tabang nang nang in program na bol tabang a hi mental issues ta le to na se ho bang life purpose mi nei lo ting le na sei bonga ju hin lom lo wala ju ithi le phajo phajo lo ju mi em ju when one sees himself as a burden that society he it's an a role la the bam ti langkha din nan sei ri ka dei ju ye ju i think we are all responsible ye ju yeah yeah net fear e kat e mi to ki cheng e kat pu 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 ka te i pi ta ka pu paulin chanu to ki cheng pa pa cmd ju Aman sa isa kung kaya society ay status na tupi sa wentala, you act as if there is no mental sickness in your community, na alam mo le mika juno nasa pilawa ka talit na le importance na pwed na upam ka tawa ita le na don po hindi ato hindi tapong he suicide case sa na sa nga yung ano la ipisiham ti ay do ka ato nang ipin ng yelam talo solution ni ipisiham society ni ipis steps la tayo na uhat nin sa ipio mo first of all Thanks for the question. Mental health lang ang ipal le. 
we have very uh, i don't know many people but i have two uh, doctors here uh, dr elizabeth who is nimhansa uh, natong hin bana dr john sontak amani he mental health as expert ayon in na psychology bana mental health aman expert ayon in ke ya chule mo pa pa ho kai bo in na cha chu amani amani chu amani chu ikido ikido di win number one second day i can no ga sai bang chu ihi na pa we do as london sai bang chu ihi na pa to accept bo ngai chu we need to acknowledge that there is it is happening na ji acceptable masing si ba chu they cannot be they cannot be any solution or no remedy not possible ada mo pa chan kada mo po te le piti logi pe ding no chance no so so it's the acceptance kan ngai it's the acceptance in ngai chu we need humility also aban le uh one more thing kasai nam chu pe handle ho na ki te ho na hi mas ani ki ha dam be se bin te ni ho hi eh ho na ka din kbc in catholic dem catholic kbc dem kcc in ecl ecn if sai ta ki tam to ki tam to ka ba hi bowling thil tam ta hi thil tam ta ball pa ding ho hi ki ball to long ki dem na so i pat tam ta ni man sa ki almost almost a century now we are losing time on criticizing each other and fighting among ourselves na kum za khata mang jo kai ge kai moda nai ki ji ki dem sang a jun ki ki ho to ki to ko me lang ho bung le society khusung nam pi phatna ding khusung mi phatna ding mi lung mi lung dam na ding mi society a apa jo ni ni ki ho le ko lang pe ge jo ta jo so we need to talk we need to talk I would say, especially the religious heads, we need to talk. We need to plan out things. Nah, to like plan out things, bana. Ihel la way le religious leader hi ba. Ihel la way le kahet kahet ang tigaw niyo. Kini yung sa ang kahet kahet la ucho kahet po itiding ay hoy do adu. Ay hoy do adu. We're not engineers. Engineer hi la ule. Engineer ay kido adu. Architect hi la ule. Architect ay kido adu. Psychiatrist hi la ule. Psychiatric psychiatrist ay kido adu. So that humility also has to be there. So we can either what like society would do on a certain as a practical instance in more that one. One let me just give you one example. Kyo ho dong chu kum 2000 Catholic ho kum ah the suicide he it was a very bit of a dem. I mean anabet 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 seat jo anabet seat. But 2000 I think 2011 or 12 ah jo. Big change came. Na, this is a Manipur Ajayan thule. Swiss side ki ball nu ki ball pa chapang hilang ahen jong le. Ho han mola vui di hiang kiti chap. Chap pan le takan kiti thule na. Han mola vui di zeda men thule. Ama ho hici commit a ball wa a ball pet wa ju a mental a mental condition hi normal le wa hi normal ahi le wa ju aki khol khola le you and I nang le kai zia hi mei kai kiti thule. So the society I'm blaming the society is that's very true everybody is included for the death of that person me kat switch i ki ball le i ball nai jaw so ke ju ama ama thi na ju ball nai jaw so ke ju khot ki cham lo di ju cha ju khot ki cham lo di ai ma ki sei thing lo di ju i ball di ho i ball lo ju thi lo ju cha ju we need to work together to home part hit ta ki sei sit part hit lo ki na part hit to home part ge home part cha home part राइट We saw that we are programmed and indoctrined or hardwired to think in a bias and eccentric way, ignoring ignoring as if the other communities are irrelevant. Therefore, to overcome tribalism or all form of ignorance in programming, what the way but to reconcile and live a harmonious life? Uh, can you? Yeah. Thank you for the beautiful. Uh... Uh, question <clears throat> i don't have a one solution for that but i'll just give my view on that first of all why especially this tribalism that is uh, 
X is called in, in our ethnography study and historical study called exclusive ethnic consciousness. Now, exclusive ethnic consciousness. That means ethnic consciousness is okay to a certain extent, but exclusive, that means I'm excluding other people and thinking that only my tribe, my community or my state is the only one has to survive. That is a very, very dangerous move that we have right now. And that is called exclusive ethnic consciousness, which we should give up, number one. Secondly, to know the truth about life, we need to have historical backup. That is history that is true. We need to read histories, not only written by our tribe people, we need to read histories written by others also. This is very important to broaden our mindset. We need to read histories, the world histories, Asian history, then Indian history, then we have the regional histories. We need to read it very, very uh, with an open mind. So unless we do this kind of things, we will be just closed up like that. It's very unfortunate that right now we are having this uh, very tribalism so strong in uh, in Northeast. But as soon as you come out of Northeast, uh, actually nobody knows where is Northeast also. So that's another very sad part. So well, I think we need to broaden our minds and to broaden our minds, there is no other way, but the hard way that is proper and holistic education. No other way, proper and holistic education. And also, Thirdly, I would like to suggest that it is always good to go and attend the functions and the festivals of other tribes or work with other tribes. Uh, by God's grace, I got a chance to work in Moray, which is almost like mini India. All the tribes of India are in Moray. Then I worked in Chandil, then I worked in Ukru, then I was in uh, Sanapati for uh, going around. And so I got a chance a lot of, to meet different people. Once you meet different people and go to work with them, you know at the end of the day that everybody actually wants peace. Everybody wants to live in peace. Nobody likes to fight. Everybody is actually so humble, lovely, lovely, and actually so much always welcome to anybody. But if I am stuck up in only my place and think that that's why I said the programming, no? the childhood programming that we received in child when we when we were children that this tribe is bad, that community is not good, or you should not go there, that is affecting us. But once you go out, people are good. I got a chance to work, uh, to be in different programs in Kaupum area, and uh, Pinjang area. So people are actually awesome. People are very good. Only what is not good is my mind and my head is not good. So we, I need to clean, I need to program this head and this mind. Yeah, thank you. Steve, we can't hear. We can't hear you. Hello. Okay, yeah. Now we can hear you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank everybody for joining us. Uh, I I see that many of our brothers and sister who join with us. Uh, some, of, some of us left already because there is a given a section, but we thank you for joining us. Kipaumin mi tamta, ihung pangun chule, pao chum tho ti chu, su pi hivin, ipao keba apilo ho zong pa, ihung pangun, zi a zong chu, Father Paul in English, and say pi wihin, kipaumin, pa chum le zing and chule. Uh, it's a PPT, a sharing board, behold, screen, so it's a board is on Katasan in Chile. It is a Doman Lova, a Yazong, YouTube Langazong, anything I tell him, a Hong Pong Man Lohon, so he says, YouTube Langa, a Tilen and Hat Dumatin, all a Hunkita Dodding. Is it soon? It's a long boy on Sina Tivin, and sent to Hitantin, keep out to say that he. Kaiman Hinglezin Kating, a father pool, Tunga Kipatu, a real value in a season, a Joe Kumsom Nita Bang, teaching ministry and Natonga Hitan, Chile, 
lekabu ho jong phabakpi ko author chale o ama author hi na noya ki publish om tan to let to nai cha he chi to nia sap penu hi a programming oneself in as na upo he chi pen hi a program yourself a topic program yourself hi i mu thei di wehin he chi uh, online as uh, in booking in both head you kata asanin and you and a kid so hit even uh, it's a um, Indian version um not so now Indian version and not so now it's a uh, uh, man tam be upon the Indian version Indian version he now let's say it's a thing you can give him sign gum tongue on the thing like human thumbs in India he published a knowledge in the talk hey you can and get so it even it's a let a mobile as on uh, Father Paul in Night Sana Umale, Akitila, Akitia by Lings out, Pikidivin, a demon, Tunia apart, Mantam, Tai Hoadinga, a Piamahena, a tip naturally, a ministry, a experience was shared here, a whole lot in a Kipatu season, a K at a punk pain his own length, a Jakipatu, Pensehi, a wood. Eh, ham lam kai lang ho ang panman lo zihin kipatu ejan chuhi tantin ah at na hi eh reven on ko inay lapi diu anak anak kiti mi hindi wala boi ya ek strip ah ah driver eh akala pa ngum jong min ko eh ni kiti mi tiwin ah Rain on corner, kitty minute, but we be boy at din. Is it chin? Ah, who bought her in Umzula? Eh, her panang mamma, nay, oh, part in Ale at a nang in Alpha Omega, nay, ball, be the raising it. Hey, hey, Papa. Hey, Papa. Well, ah, part time na needing it. Oh, male. Hey, you go with me. Hey, Papa, thang. What's up? Oi. Oh, come na hinet ba koy loya. Papa, thang su ah. Online do han tiam na. Ni na ni ja the yong le ten bol. Na ki ja the. Kom na hi net wo ting ha nga kom in tin le na. Video ang kon the pon yong le ki pa min kin pa thien hinga thang ba na taw ne ne tang e taw te. Pa kai na lung se na ka chang bin tu ni za nin na tha cha pu a ko nin thu gil ta tu man tam ta ne za sa u bin. Na tha cha pu za nin ke ke pa bin na min lo pi sang te in ke hen thang ba ba de he. Amazon mang sa zingin lang kanam sung diu le banoy gam tina mihing tezo si ding le kagam sungo ba na lopi kapon do te ni Devin na man tilbol na to hall le alung ti mata ta sa na man pa te na boa tu asa nga sung nung zolo hay zo na man sa zom zing dingin zong na ang sunga kahen tau pi bine he zong le tunin ni kua ka program ho abulako na alegi yan ang mani puso ba kaso ting te si bin kakepa bin namin kahen thang ba bin hi chitabang thugil thoi thopa ho abana jong ka ja the ni de bin nang main khang dong lam hil lam kai ho le member ho jong pha the na bo a kamai lam ba nang mani pui na dai diu ngai chain namin thang ba a e hu hing pu je so christ amen ani hing kata bo a he amen thank you father por hela na ma to ai hey bangalore ko me Bangalore ni ana yo. Bangalore kaluwaite. Ikat kasi bangatju society 